a rainy day here in West Virginia and it is supposed to rain for the next week straight. So I was going to make a really cool camping vlog with all kinds of good scenery and hiking and swimming and stuff like that, but not anymore. One of the problems with living in a car is I am largely dependent on the weather for various activities. And normally on rainy days, I do chores that I've kind of been dreading doing, like laundry and stuff like that, but I've already done most of the chores I need to do in the past few days. So I guess I'll head into town right now. I am way out in the boonies camping right now, and I am having malt, like seven different items mailed to me at this little tiny country post office, and they said they would hold it for me. So yeah, one thing I forgot to say is if you are traveling or living in a car and you need to receive mail somewhere, the best way to do it is to go to a post office and ask them if they do what's called general delivery. And with general delivery, basically you just fill out a little tiny form and for the next 30 days you can have mail delivered to you at that post office for free. Now not all post offices do that. So it's funny because I'm pretty much way out in the boonies right now and I don't get cell phone service anywhere around here, but there is this one little country gas station that has free Wi-Fi. So if I ever need to get on the internet and check my email and all that stuff, then I just come down to this gas station. What are you doing? Here it is right here, Mountain View. So this is the first time I've gotten on the internet in almost 24 hours and the first notification I got is that I got a direct deposit in my bank account from Google or YouTube. And if you're curious how much I make on YouTube, the exact amount I made for one month of my YouTube channel was $598.92. So a lot of people, not a lot, but several people have commented and said they assume that I make a lot of money on my YouTube channel. I don't make a lot. $598 for, you know, one month for all the, you know, videos I have and all the views I've gotten. You know, I, I, I made more in the past. Like the most I ever made on YouTube was $1,500 in one month. That was when my, that was when I was at the peak of posting consistently and all that and I'm hoping to get back to that point so anyway uh, I'm headed into town now I got to go to the post office and Walmart and do a few other things and I'll probably end up just going to the library and getting some computer work done because there is always something to do on my laptop Alright, so I just went in the post office and they didn't have my packages and I can track them but I also went in there just to like clarify with them that they were going to hold my packages for me just in case because I had one post office lose a package of mine one time in South Carolina that was a bad situation so I just wanted to clarify with them you know, hey, you're gonna hold my packages for me, right? So since it's such a dreadful day, I guess now I'm just gonna go to Walmart and pick up some groceries and I gotta get a new headlight for my car and a few other things. I 
I need a new headlight for my Prius. I'm gonna cook some steak tonight. So I got some steak and some macaroni salad for dinner and I'm going to be cooking this on my brand new cooking stove and frying pan that I am excited to share with you guys. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to head to the library and I will show you guys how I get work done. First, I'm gonna walk my dog. Well, this looks like an interesting spot. The duck pond. This is interesting. So right now I am eating what's called a guava. These are kind of exotic fruits in my opinion. They come from Mexico and they have become one of my favorite snacks. What? So I'm at the library right now and I gotta be quiet because there's a lot of people working. But yeah, this is how I am basically a digital nomad. I'm actually working on this video right now. I had some other things that I had to get done first, like type some emails and stuff. And yeah, so as I'm traveling around the country, I just go to different libraries and I set up and work and I just got this five tegabyte hard drive and I love this thing. I store all my drone footage and other footage and and other files on there and that just makes life so much easier and this is my laptop it's a gaming laptop I use it for editing videos the software I use is called DaVinci Resolve and I am pretty happy with how I've come along with it it was really hard to learn at first but I'm starting to really get a hang of it so I literally just spent like six hours in the library, but that's pretty normal for me. Um, I don't only edit videos. There's a lot of other stuff, a lot of other different kinds of work that I need to do in the library. I, obviously I don't go every day. I probably go to the library like once or twice a week. But anyway, so I have found myself a nice little pavilion at a park and I am about to cook dinner. So this is my new stove. Uh, it's a little cheap Coleman uh, butane stove. It takes these little butane things and I got it for only $25 at Walmart and so far I am very happy with it. And this is a copper frying pan. I got it at Walmart also, 20 bucks. The brand is called Copper Chef. I really like copper because it's, uh, it, it, it's like the best, my favorite material, it's non-stick and it's not dangerous to cook with like Teflon. Like with Teflon, I've heard that like little, you know, chunks of it can scrape off into your food and it can cause cancer. And so anyway, I'm going to be cooking this eye of round steak. That is pretty much like the cheapest steak you can buy. But if you cook it right and season it right, then you can make it taste very delicious. I can't afford, you know, a $20 little T-bone steak. And so I'm going to be seasoning it with cayenne pepper, paprika, and this stuff called complete seasoning. So here I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the frying pan. So the first thing I do is I get these little steaks. And I cut them in little pieces like this. So now, so, so I've got them all in little pieces in olive oil and now I go like that and that starts the flame. You can see under there. And they are starting to sizzle. Stir them around like that. Then I add some seasoning, some complete seasoning. And some cayenne pepper. and some paprika and a little bit more olive oil and then you just stir it up
and it is cooking wonderfully i don't even have it on high i have it on like medium and they're technically cooked now but i like them to get a little crispy so i'm going to cook it a little bit longer all right so they have been cooking for a while they look delicious you want to boil out all the liquid and then when you boil out all the liquid then there's kind of like a sticky almost like a gooey um syrup on it but it tastes so good and then you fry it a little bit longer and it comes out like crispy and there it is see how it's all crispy the little pieces of steak cook i like it where it's like crispy around the edges like that and some potato salad to go with it all right so i hope the footage for that came out okay i was having some technical difficulties i think some grease splattered on the lens of my GoPro camera and I had to clean it off and also the light for my cam or the battery for my camera light died and I had to wait you know like an hour for it to recharge but anyway the steak came out really delicious I plan on doing a lot more cooking like that in the future I love cooking a lot of people have requested that I do more cooking stuff and I've got a lot of different recipes in my arsenal that I am looking forward to sharing with you guys and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this vlog this was kind of a experimental vlog i'm just trying different things out and seeing you know what works best like what what style of video i'm best at and stuff like that so yeah let me know what you think and thanks have a good one